Okay, time now for the skinny and topping this morning's headlines, Justin Bieber. The notorious bad boy had his date in court today in South Florida on drunk driving charges stemming from that arrest nearly six months ago in Miami. It's a hearing for a plea bargain, but that's not all. His on again, off again affair with Selena Gomez is now apparently off. Apparently, she reportedly told the troubled star to get lost on the 4th of July. The 20-year-old then decided to go to Miami and party with booze in the state where the legal drinking age is 21. So Linda gonna want that old thing back, you'll see. <laughs> She keeps, you know she keeps coming back did around. She, did she call you and let you know, hey, Tay? No, she's too young for me. <laughs> but it's sort of like the Rihanna, Chris Brown. They keep going back. You know, it's yeah. fun. It's exciting. Okay. He's the Beebs. I, I like that you're an expert in his love life. Yeah, well, I'm an expert in uh, all men uh, who are smooth with the ladies, right? So, <laughs> no, not so much. <laughs> our stage director shaking her head. Next to some good news for a couple rising stars. The cast for Star Wars Episode 7, produced by our parent company Disney, just grew by two. Crystal Clark and Pip Anderson. The relative unknowns, Crystal Clark, an American, is currently studying drama in the Scottish city of Glasgow. Pip Anderson, who's British, has recently appeared in the Sony ad for Superman. And the two were picked from stardom from, can you believe it, 67,000 hopefuls wow. who applied at an open audition last November. There's a, a very special anniversary also for classic American sitcom. Yes, exactly, exactly. 25 years ago this weekend, Seinfeld, a show billed as being about nothing, made its debut in living rooms across America. We went back to my place, yada, yada, yada. I never heard from him again. <laughs> what? No soup for you. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Some Seinfeld trivia in an early draft. George's name was Bennett. Jerry's puffy shirt now lives at the Smithsonian. And how many times did Jerry say, hello, Newman? Believe it or not, just 15. The show ran for nine seasons. Great. Bennett? Show. Yeah. Bennett? <laughs> it doesn't work for him, huh? No, he's not a Bennett. <laughs> That's why they changed it. And we've also been reporting on that stunning upset at the Wimbledon men's finals this weekend. Yeah, while well, Novak Djokovic um, defeated Roger Federer, another show uh, was playing on in the stands. It was the it was a celebrity's who's who ah. turning out it, actor Chris Hemsworth and his wife Elsie Patsky. I hope I said that right. Uh, Pataki. And of course, <laughs> David and Victoria Beckham. I always love watching what she's wearing. It, she's gorgeous. Orlando Bloom was also there. There and Kate Beckinsale. And how could we ever forget Prince William and Kate, minus, of course, Prince George. Ah, star studded. Yeah. And speaking of celebrities, let's check out who's uh, blowing out candles today. So we okay. never been. Topping our birthday celebrations this morning, longtime Johnny Carson band leader Doc Severinsen turns 87. Ringo Starr, he turns 74. Figure skater Michelle Kwan turned 34. And Man of Steel actor Dylan Sprayberry turned 16. Sweet 16. Happy birthday to one and all. That's nice. Yeah, it sure is.